Hey guys, welcome back to another haul video, guys. Uh, this is like the fourth time I've done this video. The first time I did it live, had a pretty decent audience size. And then Zach, Dylan, and Shay hopped in and it turned into an hour and a half podcast. So I wanted to have my haul video be my haul video. So let's get into it, guys. Uh, I wasn't meaning to pick up as much stuff as I did in February, but my birthday was at the very end of January. So... A lot of this is like grandmother giving me gift money, uncles and stuff. So let's get into uh, the Blu-rays and the DVDs first. So first thing I picked up is I might have shown this in January's haul. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is AD Police uh, put out by Nozomi Noz Entertainment, which is Right Stuff's anime branch. And this is a spinoff from Bubblegum Crisis. And this is one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best cyberpunk animes, OVAs of all time. Like, period of all time. Uh, the release, one of the releases I was most excited for, and I had to wait for it to come to do my haul, is Psycho Armor Govarian. Uh, this is put out by Discotech. You guys are going to see a couple Discotech titles in this haul video, of course. Um, this was the mech and the character designs were done by Go Nagai. And it is a really, really fun show. Again, nothing too crazy, nothing like that's going to blow your mind, but it came out in 1983-84. It's very much of its time period. It's a lot of fun. I do like the mech design, though, the main mech design. I love all of Gona Guy's mech designs. They're all very superhero-esque looking. Um, I'm just a big fan of the way he designs his mechs and his characters in general. Uh, the, speaking of mechs, I picked up Alien Defender Geo Armor Kinshin Corpse. This is a very... Uh, I wouldn't say super obscure, but not a lot of people know about this. This is a, a older, obscure mecha anime. Uh, this was put out by Pioneer, actually. So I'm excited to own this. I got this for an insane deal, like dollars. So uh, Another awesome discotheque title, and I'm so glad that they have this series because um, it's one of, not like, I don't want to say like it's one of my favorites, but like it's just, it's so damn good, guys. And that is, of course... City Hunter, this is uh, season one, set one, it's the first 26 episodes, yes, it's the first 26 episodes, um, they are putting out, they have the whole uh, license for the City Hunter franchise, so expect a lot of City Hunter coming out your way, guys. Um, next up, we got, I did a review with this, I did a review on this with my friend Logan, um, and this is Requinjista NG, M M Mobile Suit Gundam, Requijista NG, Go Core Fighter. This was the uh, import that Right Stuff had. I'm so blown away by this release. This is an incredible release, guys. Uh, right Stuff did this, not Right Stuff, but Japan really knows how to um, do this justice. I have an unboxing video that you can check out. I don't want to spend too much time with this. Um, there's an unboxing video I did, and then, of course, the review I did with Logan. We were both pretty positive on it it is a little bit of a recap uh a review for film two that i read it was translated of course said that they do add new elements in film two so just like how we were saying it's kind of like the rebuild of evangelion where the first film mostly a retelling of certain episodes like the first five-ish episodes and then you know the following films added new elements to it uh the production value is top notch the animation is incredible i actually really like the mecha designs it's done by the same guy who did eureka 7 and then i also picked up a detonator organ this is another kind of a lost uh lost and forgotten anime um you guys know i love obscure stuff so i picked this up for cheap and it's a it's a solid solid film i'm gonna be reviewing it and then of course mill creek is continuing to put out amazing releases for Ultraman and this one actually really this is what showed me they were not the steel books not the you know not the you know constant flow of releases it was this because this is like part of this is a web series so the fact that they're this committed to Ultraman really cemented the fact that they are back in this 100% um, and we got Ultraman Orb the origin saga this is like the prequel to Ultraman Orb which I love orb out of orb and jeed orb is my favorite it also includes um ultra fight orb there's the front and then there is the back this is uh showing joker's backstory if you've seen ultraman orb you'll know who joker is great great show 12 episodes i actually kind of like that i like when tokusatsu 
backs down, you know, not backs down, but slows its pedal. 50 episodes is a lot. That's literally a year commitment time, which I'm going to be doing reviews for uh, uh, Kira Manger on the channel. Um, yeah, this is, it's a really good release. That's what I'm watching this week. I've been taking my time with it. Um, and then we got the return of Ultraman. This is uh, Hideaki Anno's favorite uh, version of Ultraman. And I can see why. It's a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's still, it's in that classic line, which they're doing the Steelbooks for. This is Series 4. I think Ultraman Ace is the next in the classic line. And then we're also getting um, Ultraman X uh, around the same time that we're getting Ace. They're kind of separating the releases. Like, from October to December of last year, we got five Ultraman sets. So far this year, we've only gotten two. Um, and then I think it's April and May, we're getting one each. It's X or Ace. I can't remember which is which is which is coming out in which month. Um, and then I'm so excited for this because I was gonna pick up them. I was gonna pick up the DVDs around Christmas time, but I'm glad I waited. Uh, that's After War Gundam X. This is Blu-ray set number one. This is my buddy Logan's favorite uh, Gundam series. I honestly haven't seen it in such a long time that I don't quite remember much about the series. I remember most of the characters being kind of unlikable, uh, but I really like the mech designs. I've always wanted to pick up some kits of uh, from this series, but yeah, I'm really glad to have After War Gundam X finally on Blu-ray. We're getting, we almost have like all of Gundam on Blu-ray here in the States. It's kind of mind-blowing. Uh, I think Right Stuff announced that um, they showed a preview of the new dub for Gundam Seed on the Twitter feed today, and we also confirmed that NT is getting an English release here uh, NT was an import only uh, last year, but if you're not a Gundam fanatic, don't get NT. It's a direct sequel to Gundam Unicorn, and honestly, it wasn't that good besides the animation and the mech fights. It wasn't that good. Um, and then we got Garo, the animation. Uh, Garo is a darker tokusatsu show uh, created by the same director as uh, Mechanical Violator Hakaider, and it's got a it's got a handful of uh, anime series, and it's really good. So if you want, you can go into this blind without seeing the, the uh, Tokusatsu show. Uh, I recommend it. The anime is fantastic. I haven't watched it on Blu-ray. I was watching it back when it was coming out. I'm a huge fan. So, uh, And then something my buddy Ice, shout out to Ice, by the way, uh, turned me on to because he knows I like Toku. He knows I like obscure things. And he showed me this stuff called Yokai Monsters. Three DVDs. Number three is like super expensive and hard to find. So I went and got the first two, and they look standalone. They seem to be standalone because I watched the first one, which was Spook Warfare. It's a puppet show, Tokusatsu puppet show. Um, I really like the designs of the uh, of the creatures. You know, right there. I don't know if that's picking up very well, but uh, then we got 100 monsters over here. And yeah, this is uh, just weird, weird shit. Uh, super, super weird. Uh, volume 2 is still sealed, so I'm going to be watching Volume 2 here soon. Uh, and then I got a, I got a Japanese film uh, by Takashi Miike, the guy who's done uh, Iggy the Killer, uh, Audition, the Blade the Immortal movie, the JoJo's movie, the Terraform Horse movie. Uh, we're talking about First Love. Uh, this was a blast. This was actually a lot of fun. It's a good Yakuza movie. Um, a little bit of a slower paced film for Takashi Miike. A little bit, you know, he kind of showed some, some risk, some restraint. There is like a big, bloody set piece towards the end that I thought was really kick ass and intense. There's a little animated sequence in there that's pretty. It's played for uh, budget purposes, but they play it off very, very well. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy that we have that. I loved. I actually loved it. I had a great time. I think it's his best movie in a quite some time because I wasn't that big into the JoJo's movie wasn't that big into the Blade of the Immortal movie but this was a joy um and then something that I need to do a binge because I haven't seen him in so long um I got the last film in the Code Geass uh Lelouch the Resurrection this is the steel book I don't know if there was a regular edition um at all um but yeah it comes with a digital code so if anyone wants this digital code hold it right uh, the, the lighting is so there you guys go pause it um yeah this is a really nice steel book just like the other set um with the three films um yeah i'm excited uh, people were pretty they seemed pretty negative on this film and i and i'm interested to see why 
Um, then before we get into manga, because I'm going to say what most of you guys are here for. Everyone's here for the manga haul. Um, I got some out of print stuff too, so I'm excited. I'll show off the kits that I picked up, the Gumpla kits. Uh, here is the kit that I'm actually building. Uh, I put a pull up, uh, which one do you guys want me to build? The Zone of the Enders kit or, you know, whatever. And you guys voted for this. No, no, you guys voted for Zone of Enders. I decided to build this just because I wanted to get, I've, it's, it's been almost a year since I built a model kit. I wanted to dip my feet back into it. And I got, and I saw this at Barnes and Noble, thought the kit looked absolute badass. I'm a huge sucker for uh, mobile suits with funnels in them. This is the HD Build Divers R1144 scale, Captain Zeon's mobile suit. Here is the box. I think this thing looks really rad. Here's what it's gonna look like all done up. I'm taking my time with it. Um, I'm still bad at removing nub marks. I need to get better. I need to like watch some more to 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 the to tutorial videos. But I'm not rushing through it. You know, I'm doing it when I have free time. So right now I have the upper body and the head and the arms built. I have both feet and one of the legs built. So I'm like probably like an hour and a half, maybe two hours close to being done. So that should be done by Saturday. Uh, and then oh man, I'm so this is my this is one of my favorite mobile suits of all time. And I'm not just saying that. This is like literally I love this design. And this is the Master grade one one hundred scale iron blooded orphans barbatos. So yeah, this I love the artwork on these. I kind of want to display them, and then uh, this is what he is going to look like when he is all paint not painted but all done up. I'll show you guys the other side. He has a couple weapons. He's got the big ass mace um, and the sword. I recently just finished a iron blooded orphans rewatch. Man, every opening in that series is so damn good. Me and Zach were talking about um, how we can't decide on what opening is good. I, you know, Raise Your Flag is a killer introduction. It's like as the first intro to a series, that is a killer introduction. The second opening, definitely underrated, but my favorite, the third opening, the last one, is so damn good. Uh, Fighter by Kuhn Kuhn. I might be saying that wrong. I have it saved on my Apple Music. I love it i was listening to, to i was listening to it at the gym tonight uh and then a kit that i'm actually really shocked like i'm actually shocked that um my barnes and noble had this i did a live. i've been doing live streams every week when i go to barnes and noble um been getting a lot of viewers um and i'm really shocked that they had this because this is a limited edition so the fact that my barnes and noble in central illinois had this kind of blew me away but this is the real grade um, real grade, uh, new type Gundam, Gundam Fin Funnel. It comes with the Gundam, the Gundam Fin Funnel set. So why this is such a big deal to me is because this, this right here, the actual kit and then the funnel system were sold separately. This limited edition has both plus an exclusive base. So this is what it's going to look like when it is done. This is one, one forty four scale. Uh, people are saying this is one of the best kits that they've ever built. Here's some more shots of the Gundam. And yeah, this is my, this is like my top three favorite Gundams are the new type, uh, the Unicorn and the Barbados. Like those are my three favorite Gundam kits. And uh, I got Barbados and I got new type. So I'm so excited. And I have that someone's a fan. I don't I hate the word fan, but a viewer sent me the metal. Uh, it wasn't a build. It was already, a, it was already put together the metal uh, Unicorn Gundam attack mode with the, with the spinning shields with the guns on them. Um, so thank you to whoever did that. I that thing is set up right next to my new type bust sent by the same dude. So thank you. Um, and then I decided to, to dip my toe into figure eyes. I uh, I don't have any. I've never built a figure, and uh, I don't have any common rider figures. For such a fan of common rider, I literally have nothing in my collection. So um, I got the common uh, rider Revit tank build. Nice match. Um, best match. Yeah. This is uh, this isn't my favorite form of the Kamen Rider uh, build series, but it is the, it was the cheapest. So yeah, it'll look like this when it's done. Um, Kamen Rider build, I think the best Kamen Rider series in the last, I don't know though, man, because there's a couple other ones. I, I am liking Zero One quite a bit. Um, the character, the main character, uh, Aruto or whatever, how you, how, however you pronounce his name, he started off very annoying and then he got better as time went on. But yeah, I am having a blast uh, rewatching Kamen Rider build. I love best match. I love that. Uh, I think 
Zero One's gimmick where it's like a jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. I think that's really dope as well. Um, and then I got two more kits here. This is a premium Bandai. This is the Master Grade. Gunnam Double O, Avalanche, Exia, Celestial Being. Um, yeah, this is a sick kit. This is a big one. Not as big as the last one, but this is a big one. And we're going to show you what it's going to look. Dude, I love how this is going to look. Look at this. Uh, if you guys have seen Gunnam Double O, it's one of the, it might be the best standalone, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people think that as well, but look at this. Look at this beauty, guys. Oh, man, I cannot wait to have that on my shelf. I can't wait. It's going to look so sexy. And then the big guy, the thing that I am super nervous to build because this thing is, look at this. It's, this thing is double the size of the one I just showed you. And that is the Anaheim Electronics FA Test MSFA-010 Fosverka. Um, yeah, this thing is, it's a fucking beauty, dude. This is a beauty, guys. Look at this. What is big ass overcompensation gun? Um, do we have any pictures of what it's going to look like? So this is what it's going to look like without the armor. Okay, you know, normal gun, looking normal. And then this is what this motherfucker is gonna look like when he's off, when he is strapped. When he is strapped and he is ready to go. When he is ready for war. So I'm excited to build that. I'm gonna build that one last. So I think the build order, I'm working on the build divers one. I think I'm gonna go to the common rider. Uh, then Zoda of the Enders, which I've I've had for a while. Uh, then probably Barbados, new type, Exia, and then that big boy right there. Now let's get into manga, guys. It's something that you guys all want. Uh, first thing that came, literally came uh, Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday, and I am so impressed with this release. I'm going to have a separate impressions video later this week. Is the Transformers manga. So Transformers manga was like released in some magazines. Um, they're basically like, this is a collection of short, kind of short ongoing stories uh it's three stories but each story is like the longest one is eight chapters the next one's five the next one's three little short bite-sized chapters um follows you know a lot of similar molds to japanese uh giant robot series you know like like mazinger or or even psychomer govarian where you know there's a kid you know like uh testogen 28 there's a kid he gets he becomes friends with the Autobots. They fight the Decepticons. It breaks no new ground. But I'm having such a good time reading it. It's fun. It's just nice to see these characters, Gen One Transformers, which I love, and seeing you know seeing what the what what Japanese mangaka did with it is a blast. It's very cheesy, but again, like I said, it's very fun. And this is Viz's best built book that they've done in so long like i'm really impressed with this book with the build of this um also picked up a mobile suit gundam thunderbolt volume 13 this is the volume where the manga because art style does change he uh actually he has let's see what he says because at the very beginning there's like a sorry um he has tino civitis uh in his drawing hand and uh, he can't draw like he used to but again guys Previous previous artwork, right? This is when he was, you know, this is his prime artwork. Fantastic. Like, Thunderbolt has some of the best artwork out there. Um, his lesser artwork, as he calls it, like, his poorer artwork, um, still leagues above most mangaka, in my opinion. Just, like, insanely good. This dude is insanely talented. Uh, I'm really glad that he is continuing the manga because, and of course, it's going to slow down. I think the series is monthly. So we with next volume we're caught up with Japan and same with Ultraman. So like the two series that like I'm enjoying the most, we're caught up. Sucks. Um, a series that I rebought that I would put in my underrated manga collection video is Opossums by Satomo Nihei. I got the four volumes that are these are out of order by the way. That's number one, and that's number two. Uh, I'm giving this another shot and I'm glad I did because I'm having a really good time with it. This is a very fun manga um it's not Satomo Nihei's best I still think Blam is like his masterpiece Blam is absolutely incredible this is a, still a lot of fun though 
Uh, something I did a review for, I don't want to talk too much on it, is Downfall by Ennio Asano. This is this and Transformers are my two favorite manga releases of 2020, both by Viz, both really nice quality books. So shout out to Viz. You know, last year they had some problems with their quality control. You know, the spines misaligned on a lot of books. I had a couple of books glue binding just suck, like fall apart, uh, which was very confusing because Viz is usually very good when it comes to their glue. Like I have old Shonen Jump volumes that are, or I did, that for from like the 90s that held up very well. So um, Downfall, if you want to know my full uh, thoughts on it, you can go watch my review on my channel. I'm very hyped on it. It's a really good read. Very depressing. And last but not least, I got some out of print stuff here. So this was like a set. This came all together. And this is all of Fist of the Blue Sky that was um, released here in the States. This volume. I'm, these are, again, these are out of order. Uh, this was Rajan Comics. These aren't the colored ones. And neither is the Fist of the North Sky. Um... The Fist of the North Star, sorry. Yeah, these are um, these are the Viz editions. Um, I like the manga. I'm happy I own it. I'm more of the anime. I like when it comes to um, Fist of the North Star. I'm more of an anime guy. Fist of the Blue Sky got a terrible anime ad ad adaptation a couple years ago that was like the worst CG I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, guys, that is all. That wraps up my haul for the month. Um, let me know what you guys got in the comments down below. And... If you guys want me to review something in particular that was in this haul, comment below and I'll make sure to get that out as soon as possible. I do have some, I have a backlog of videos. So guys, I'm gonna take a little second to talk to you guys. Uh, I'm feeling the burnout of YouTube. Uh, the channel's had massive success. My videos lately have had massive success and I'm so grateful for that. I'm having a great time uh, overall making content. Uh, I'm really glad to have met the friends I have, but there's just something going on. I don't know if it's like I'm going through like a little bit of a depressive episode or what, but I am feeling the burnout. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a bunch of pre-recorded videos. Um, I was going to, I filmed a couple on Tuesday. I'm going to film a couple for the rest of the week and I'm going to not make new content for like three to four weeks. So um, unless I get, you know, I could be just talking out my ass in a couple of days. I might just get the, I might feel completely re, uh, rejuvenated, but yeah, uh, expect the Transformers first impressions from me later this week, uh, ultimate muscle review next week. Um, and then I'll probably be covering the new super Sentai series as well, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It really, really mean a lot to me. I'm not going to stop making content. I'm just letting you guys know, I'm not ever going to stop making content. Just letting you guys know how I feel. But anyways, guys, I'm Flip Otaku. Thank you so much for joining me in another haul video. And I will see you guys soon.